Hey there, HVAC fans. I got something cool that I want to show you all today. And what that is is an online dynamic psychrometric chart. If you follow my channel, you know that I have a few videos on psychrometrics. And if you're an HVAC engineer, psychrometric chart is the number one chart. So let's get started. The website name is psychrochart.com. That's P-S-Y-C-H-R-O chart.com. And it's a pretty simple site. You have the chart on the left and you have some configuration settings on the right. And what's cool about this chart is that it's dynamic. So we can change some of this configuration and see this chart update on the spot. So we can turn off lines of constant values if we want to free up some white space things are a little too cluttered you can also adjust the limits so these are the temperature limits so i'm bringing that down i can make this 100 degrees fahrenheit i can reduce this max humidity ratio and perhaps one of the more important ones is you can adjust the total pressure to whatever your current location is so you can make this chart customized to your exact GPS location as long as you know what the total pressure is. The second part is you can add different states to the chart. So by default it will just put a state at random. But we can change this. I can put this say at uh, 55 and 0 0.008. I can say maybe this is our supply air. And you can see as I type this in this chart updates automatically and I can add as many states as I want I could say that this is my this is my room state and add as many states as you want what's also nice is that I took some care to make this chart look what I think pretty nice so this is meant to be ready to go into reports so you can either snip this or you can click over here for a PNG and then you can put this in your reports. So if you like this, this page, you can um, give it a star on GitHub or you can leave a comment below. I'm aware there's some limitations. Obviously, this is in United States IP units. I'm alienating probably more than half the world without using SI. Obviously, that's something I would like to add. Uh, in the future, I'd like to add the ability to fix the state with something besides these two properties. And I'd like to add the ability to change some of these colors so that you could give it your own custom, custom branding. But that's all for now. I hope you get some usefulness out of it. If you like it, let me know. If you don't, well, then don't use it. So, take care, everybody.